Hey y'all, this is your girl Kitty Cam, and welcome to the Kitty Cam Vlog. I hope y'all having a wonderful weekend. Um, today, as you can see, we're going to be doing um, uh, some reactions of Nephew Tommy. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this one because uh, I believe it's going to be very, very funny. So I really hope y'all enjoy this. But before we get started, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let us get started. Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, brother brother Garling. Yeah, this is me. What's what's going on? Hey, uh, brother. Good, good afternoon to you, man. This is uh, uh, brother Larry uh, calling on behalf of the church, uh, Mount Calvary. Mr. Yeah, what's Bass. what's going on? What's going on? How you doing today? You did I did I catch you at a I'm bad good. time? No, no, I'm okay. good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, but I'm calling. We they appointed me to reach out and give you a call. Uh, concerning the choir. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Now, are you are you doing a lot of jumping around and getting you know uh, very sweaty and perspiring a lot when you're when you're in the choir and you all are up there on Sunday? <clears throat> Sometimes, you know, they they tell us like, hey, you know, we're about to go, make some noise, we start clapping, and you know, by the time yeah. we're done, everybody robes is kind of you know hot and stuff. Right, right. Well, see, here's 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 what's going on. We've gotten some complaints that mm -hmm. uh, when you jump up and down and start perspiring, uh, you must be perspiring more than everybody else because they're saying there's an odor coming from you, you know, after older. sweating. <laughs> yeah, they're saying there's an odor mm -hmm. coming from you. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Okay, so who who told you to call me? First of all. Okay. Well, this, this information came from a couple of, uh, actually, three to four members that are in the choir. Okay, I'm gonna stop you. I'm gonna stop you right here, real quick, real quick. First of all, if it was Lacey or or uh, and the thing that put you up to this, you can say so now. We can just end this right now, cause see, I ain't got no time for this. They they've been making these jokes, you know, back and forth, cause see, I was trying to go up for tenor section leader, and uh, well, see, I'm not, I'm not, I, I've not been appointed to come in and talk about who's been in certain sections. Uh, you know, the, the only thing that's been brought to my attention, is, and, and I have to bring it actually to the person uh, that, that I is I get the all that. I get that. But who said it is all I'm asking. That's all hey, I'm asking. See, I, I don't know directly. This was sent have to you me. Who, where you sit at? Who are you? Where you sit at? I sit on the fourth pew on the right, and I've never smelled you. I have never in my life smelled you. Okay. Okay. I appreciate that. I didn't think so. Okay. You know, but 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 what what the 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 notes that I'm giving is we have a funky choir member and we need to get it taken care of. <laughs> okay, and so you sure it's me? You sure it ain't nobody else? That no, they, they said they they said they said brother Garling James is the one that we need to address this issue with. Do do you do you smell yourself when you're up there? Uh, no. I, I see. I see my robe get wet. I take my robe off right when Pastor get up to preach. I don't smell nothing. Wow. I ain't never smelled okay. nothing. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. I ain't never smelled nothing. It's it's not. They're not talking about uh, doing service. This is going on doing choir rehearsal. See, this this is why I get pissed off right here. Cause I feel like I'm personally being judged, and you won't tell me who the f sent you. Damn. And I don't know who said it. No, are, no, you, no, no, are you no. are you bathing before I, rehearsal? Or are you I coming in? I, I bathe every day. Mm. Are you coming straight from work? Do you need to try maybe bathe before rehearsal? What kind of work do you do? First, first of all, first of all, I know what this is personal. I know I don't think like that. Okay. <laughs> what, 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 I, like I say, what kind of work mm -hmm. do you do? I, I'm a I'm an auditor. So you you inside. You don't work outside. No, no, just count. No, no, are the people at your job complaining about your odor? I, I don't have no odor. No, I ain't got no odor. What do you mean? Well, the choir is saying that you, they, 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 you are the funky choir member. That's what they're saying. So what I'm trying to do is get it taken care of. Where I, we, would you like me to, 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 to put, maybe get some towels and soap and have it at the church and you can wash it up before rehearsal in the evening? You know what? If, if, if hey, you, hey, 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 well, no, 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 don't, 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 don't kill the message. Daniel, all y'all motherfuckers up in here trying to talk about me, call me out my name, make me look crazy. I know this is a targeted attack. I 
ain't, I ain't worried about you. I ain't worried about Lacey. I ain't worried about Daniel. And I don't know where you sit. I told you I sit on the fourth row on the right. Sometimes but that ain't got nothing to do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm far enough away where I can't smell your funky. That's the way I sit. <laughs> I told you once. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep saying it. Okay, can I can I tell you this? Let me let me tell you one name that you did not mention. Who? Nephew Tommy. Do you know who that is? <laughs> <laughs> this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Oh your my music, God. listen. Your music director Caleb got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> Hell no. Please, my mom's sorry. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to get this man tonight. Ooh. Hey, let me ask you something. I got to ask you, what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Oh, you know, it's Steve Harvey Morning Show all day, every day. Why you whispering? Why you whispering, garlic? <laughs> Man, dude, listen. I can't believe I gotta, it. I, you got to answer my question, though. <laughs> Won't he do it? <laughs> he'll, he'll do it. I am trying to reach uh, George, please. Who is this? My name is Marcus with WCS. Uh, call and see if we can actually try to uh, lend you our services. We understand that you're having a few problems and want to see if uh, maybe WCS can bring um, a better life to you and you can have a, uh, a, an exciting life better than w- the one you have now. Who, who, is, who is it? Who is WCS? We are with Wife Correctional Services, sir. WCS, what it is, is we take your wives for a couple weeks and we reprogram them so that it's... Take my wife. Of course, you have to sign a waiver contract, but we take your wife and we reprogram them so that they will act in a fashion of what you want them to act. Oh, I, okay, man. I, okay, whatever. See, sir, what it is is that we've gotten some we've gotten some reports that you've been having some problems with with your particular wife, and and man, I ain't never heard of y'all, man. Where you located at? We're here in St. Louis, sir. Okay. And, and don't worry, we're we're totally confidential. This is not anything that's going to get out. Um, and and your your names are never submitted. First of all, here's here's something we can do. I can ask you questions because we've been notified that this is probably a service that you would probably want now. Uh, has your wife ever snapped on you in public? And snapped on me. I mean, what you, I mean, she, my wife ain't crazy. She don't just snap on me. She might, you know, try to check me or uh, uh, say something. You know what I'm saying? She ain't just gonna snap on me in public. So your you know wife, your, so your wife has tried to check you. Is what you're saying? She may not check me per se. I mean, she might, she might not like something I'm doing and might say something about it. But what, she don't what, just snap on so, me. You so, know so basically, your wife is not in her place where she needs to be. I mean, what you mean in her place? I mean, she might say something, you know, I mean, I might be doing something or, you know, might be with my boys and might get out of control a little bit. She might just say something at the time, but she don't just try to all out check nobody. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you what, let me ask you this one. Have you ever just had some plans with your guys, was going to go out and had to change your plans because um, your wife... I mean, well, I mean, if, 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 like, I'm just talking about hanging out and I ain't let her know or something, she might... You know, be like, well, baby, I already had plans. You know, can you stay home with the boys or something? Mm-hmm. But I mean, not, I mean, nothing on the regular. You know, mm-hmm. I usually do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seems like denial. Okay, here's <laughs> another one, sir. Denial. No, well, no, just uh, listen. Hear me out. Now, let me ask you this. Um, oh my God. Has your wife? Uh, let's say back when Michael Jordan was playing basketball. Did you ever miss a playoff game on television because your Michael wife Jordan? wanted to watch something else? Nah, man, we got two TVs in my house, man. I wish I... Nah, I probably don't even get down. I mean, I might have to watch the little TV. Okay. But, I mean, I, I usually watch it on the big screen so in you, the basement. Yeah, yeah. but, but you doing, you've been pushed to watching the smaller television. No, nah, I wasn't pushed to do nothing, man. What I'm trying to tell you is, I mean, we compromise. We do 50-50 in my house. I mean, she might get the big TV to watch her stories or something, and I just have to go watch the little TV. The little TV do go out here every once in a while. See, there we go. I mean, so, so, I'm, so, I'm cool with that, though. I'm cool with that. You're cool you know with what that. I'm saying? So I'm you're, cool you're, with that. you're actually the one that's programmed, and... You, you see, Ain't nothing wrong with my wife. Ain't nothing wrong with, with in my family. You I, know what I'm saying? I, I understand. Well, let me... The reason why I'm asking you these particular questions questions is because someone has actually let me know the problems that are at hand in your household. Let me ask you, I got one question for you. Here's what I want to ask you. Has your wife ever cussed you out at a family cookout? Hey, man, hold on, man. You know what, dog? You're getting a little personal, man. 
Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, you did good, man. I I, I, I hate I messed it up, you know what I mean? But, yeah. you know, it's, it's neither here nor there, man. But it's just ironic that I ran into him, man, so I just appreciated the invite. I saw I saw Glenda, man. Yo, 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 your girl looking good, man. I ain't seen her in a long time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yo, man, what do you, let's back up a minute, man. What, what you mean you, you hate you messed that up? What you mean by that? Well, no, that's, no, okay, okay, my bad, dog. I'm, I'm thinking you familiar with my name. No, um, see, Glenda was, um, Glenda was my high school sweetheart. Uh -oh. You know, we dated from, from ninth grade to the 12th grade, man. Yeah. We went to prom together. All right, bro. Look, all right, man. I see. Um, you know what, man? I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, let me see. All right. I don't know, I don't know what Glenda, what she meant by, by telling you she, you could come through the crib, bro, but you, you can't, come through my house, dog. I mean, I didn't, I didn't have mine back in the day, and, and, and she might have had hers, bro, but you you can't come over my house, dude. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Now, Glenda then invited me, and I'm coming. I don't, I don't know what, what the hostility is, but, man, but I'm I'm coming to the house. You ain't, you ain't coming to my house, dog. Hey, dog, yeah. listen to me, man. I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. I done ran into Glenda in the store. Glenda said, she, you know, it was good to see me, you know, come through tonight. I said, cool, you know, and she gave me the number on asking you what else I should, you know, what else I should get, you know. So I'm, I'm calling you saying, hey, man, you want some ice and some beer? I'm going to roll through. Man, it's just a party, dog. You insecure? What's, what's up? <laughs> you ain't no insecure. Listen, listen to me, dog. I'm, I'm going I'm to go and get Glenda. All right, and, and this, because this right here don't make sense to me, dog. What you mean Glenn invited you to the house? And I'm telling you right now, you ain't coming to my house, bro. If you come to my house, you're going to get your up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So what you, what you threatening me now, dog? That's what you're doing? You who, who is you, dog? I'm, I'm her first. first. That's who I am. Dog. I would I'm never do that first. I'm her first. I'm the one she really remember. What you mean you don't want she really remember? I'm her first, dog. See, man, I, I look, man, I, I, like I said... You bring your punk over to my house, and it's going to be about 20 waiting on you. All right, all my boys over here, we kicking it. All right, you bring your over here, you won't leave. I promise you that. I tell you what, man, I'll be over there because Glenda the one invited me, and I'm showing up. And if you start tripping with me, guess what, dog? It's on and popping. One thing I ain't forgot is my first love, and my first love that invited me to the house. Man, I can't, I can't even deal with this right here, bro. I'm going to tell you, you know, you, you obviously, you don't spoke to Glenda. You know what the I live, all right? You show your up. I want you to come on. I want you to come on over and you show up. Like I said, Damn. you show up and your ain't going home. I promise you that, bro. Right, well, it's, it's whatever then, man. It's whatever. Bro, this, hey, bro, look, look, man. Me and my boys over here, we just waiting on it. We just waiting on it. All you got to do is, is make the move, bro. All you got to okay, do is make well, the move. Well, I'll tell you what, man. I'm just, I'm, let me call Glenda. See, I need to call Glenda. Because, see, 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 Glenda. Yo, let me get Glenda. Who the are you, dog? Who the you. I'm going to tell you one more time. I am Glenda's first. I don't give a and, and it sounds like I might be her last, her everything. This must be out his <laughs> mind, see, lo. I got this on the phone, bro. Rick, yo, yo, dog. Hey, let me ask you this here, man. You don't even know where Glenda's spot at, do you? Oh. Do you? What the I know where her spot at. What the oh. are you, dog? What the think this is, bro? Hey, man, man I you bring your over here. I want you to show up at my you call me with this stupid shit, bro. You talking about my girl, my girl spot. You come, but I want to see you at the crib right now, bro. Get your shit in your whip right now. You drive down to my shit and I'm gonna you up, bro. You ain't gonna do nothing to me. What? I said you ain't gonna do nothing, nothing, to, nothing to, me. to you, huh? I ain't gonna do nothing to you. I promise. You bring shit over here, bro. I'm telling you, you're not going home, dog. You're not going home. Whatever. I got one more thing I want to say to you. Is you That's listening? Talking shit, my girl. What the? I, I got one more thing I want to say to you, though. Is you listening to me? I'm not listening to you. I, hey, man, is you listening? Is you listening? Because evidently you ain't. Are you listening to me? You want to say this <laughs> is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your wife, Glenda. Hell no. <laughs> Damn. You see? Mm-mm. Uh, <laughs> Y'all playing, man. Y'all playing, dog. <laughs> Kill y'all, man. I'm, I'm so glad this is a joke, bro. I'm telling you, because one of us was leaving here tonight, bro. Damn. I got to ask you, man. I got to ask you one more thing, dog. What is, what is the baddest, I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? 
Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. This is the nurse's station. How may I help you? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to read the nurse, uh, Vicky. This is Nurse Vicky. How may I assist you? What, what phone did you want? I'm at the nurse's station, sir. Where are you calling from? What, 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 this is Nurse Vicky, yes, sir. Okay, what, 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 what I wanted is, 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 is they both the baby this evening. Okay, sir, well, you're calling the wrong floor. You need the but, 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 but I want, I want, I, I, I want Nurse Vicky to be the one to bathe me. Okay, sir, I don't work on that floor. I can, uh, actually, what you have to do is just push the button on your bed, and it'll ring your nurse. I'm on the seventh floor. When she when she bathed me, she don't she don't clean me all the way. I don't I don't I don't like that. She don't she don't. I want to speak to Nurse Vicky. Is Nurse Vicky out? If they can send Nurse Vicky up to clean me. I can't do that, sir. I can send someone to you. What room number are you in on the eleventh floor? And I will send your nurse. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want the nurse that normally. She don't clean me right. Okay, sir. Well, you will have to speak to a supervisor on that floor. I'm not on that floor, sir. No, no. What, what, what I want to do is see if I could get Nurse Vicky to come up to this floor. Okay, sir. H how do you know me? How did you get my name? I want you to be the one that bathed me. She the nurse that come here and bathed me in the evening. She, she bathed me. But she go all around my private and don't and don't don't want to bathe all of me. I, I need all of me bathed. Okay, but who is this? <laughs> who is this? Where did you get my name? Well, uh, uh, Walker, Walker, my last name, Walker. Okay, Mr. Walker, who gave you my name to ask for me specifically? No, I knew where to, I knew I, I knew where to call to get you, but I want. Is there any way you uh, can you can can you be the one bathe me? Uh, no, sir. I am not on your floor, and I actually do not do fun uh, baths on on patients. But I want to know who gave you my name. I, that isn't even in my uh, job description. Well, 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 see, that's what I'm saying. I want you to, they, 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 when they come baby, they bathe, and they bathe all around what they pose and really clean. And don't okay, clean sir. the good. And that, that, that's what I'm trying to, to, to get to see. Because they're not doing what they pose, uh, and they go all around my private. And don't clean it. I want Nurse Vicky to be the one to clean me. Okay, sir, I don't do that. I can't get someone, like I said, to assist you with your sponge bath on that floor. Why are you going to be the one to do it? Uh, sir, excuse me, can you lower your voice? I, I'm not I want, sure. I, want, oh. I want you to be the one to, to, to come. They do me, they do me wrong. Excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm trying me. to help you. I'm, I'm trying wrong. to help you, sir. <laughs> what what what's your room number? What's your room number? And I get somebody to come out there. Oh, the number <laughs> Okay, you're on the <laughs> What room are you in, sir? <laughs>
How did you get my name? How did you get my name? Because that ain't even in my job description. Who gave you my name? What's wrong with you watching me? Okay, sir, I don't do that. I'm trying to help you, okay? Can you get your f***ing here and help me then? Why is my like you spoke to Hold on, wait a minute. First of all, you, you're not gonna disrespect me, okay? I'm not gonna let that happen, okay? Now I'm trying to help you. You help. I'm, I'm trying to help because I'm trying to help you, sir. Hold on, hold on. Let me take this earpiece off and pick the. I see why you're mad because don't nobody want to clean you because you're asking the food like this. Now I'm trying to help. You get that sponge and get your up here. I ain't finna do it. Thing, okay, I ain't finna do nothing. What you need to do is call the nurse on the eleventh floor and let them deal with you. Cause are you, I'm, I'm not. You get up here, you clean my nasty. Excuse me, sir. You need to calm the down before I come on the eleventh floor, and I'ma give you what you don't want, and it ain't gonna be no bad. I can tell you that. You don't do what I tell you to do. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing no. Thing, you you to me. Uh 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 uh. Who told you to call me? Cause I, I I really want to. Who gave you my name? You told me to call you. Who told you to call me? You told me you were. You said you would. You said you would clean me. You said you'd be nice to me. Who? Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs>
wrong with you? I done told you. If it's not going to one ear, put the phone on the other one. She ain't <laughs> going nowhere with you. Do I need to break it down anymore? <laughs> hey, man, you ain't got to you ain't got to talk to me and disrespect me like this, man. Now all I tried to do was come on. Hold on, hold on. You talking about I'm disrespecting you? You gonna call my? Want to tell me I'm disrespecting you? You asking me can you take my wife to the damn class reunion and expect me to be okay with that? What kind of damn fool is that to call somebody ask can you take their wife to a class reunion? Hey man, that was my high school sweetheart. All right, we had we had some. I was up first. Okay, I was up first, dog. If you was the first, then I'm the last, and I'm the only one. So we are gonna leave it at that. How about that, partner? Uh, well, it's, it's whatever, man. You know what, man? I try to call you and talk to you like a man, but you know what I should have did? Man, I should have called me and talked to me like that, man. You were doing a little <laughs> stuff, man. I should have called Sylvia in the first. I should have never called. Matter of fact, you know what? I apologize for calling. Let me get on the phone and just call Sylvia and see if she well, you mind you go right on, you with me. You go right on ahead and do that. You go right on, on ahead and call her. Well, that, that, that's what I'm going to do. Because Sylvia can make a decision on what Sylvia want to do. I can tell you one thing. Sylvia do what Sylvia want to do, but Sylvia ain't interested in you. Man, this is not about being interested in me, man. This is innocent. This is just me and her going to the damn class reunion together, man. It, it, it ain't like we finna go do something together, man, on, on a physical uh, uh, level. We just going to have fun. I'm, I'm trying to keep my cool. I'm trying to tell you that I already told you no. Okay? If you can't get no, then I don't know what you can't get. But you ain't getting Sylvia, I tell you that much. She's not going to no reunion. You know what, man? I'm through talking to you. I'm just going to call Sylvia because that's what I should have done in the first place. I should have called Sylvia. I told you, but you ain't going to call nobody. You better not dial my wife number, man. I'm telling you this right now. I'll be at that class where you and I'll be looking for your king, whatever your name is. I'm going to find out who you are. I ain't playing no like this. I already told you. You are disrespectful in the first place. I done told your don't call my wife. She ain't going to no but you meant so you bet not call her phone. No, I've been mad at her for you. Know, you know, know she don't want to go. Walk up in this and of my situation. Now, I done told you, I will come to this class reunion and I will f*** your f*** up, man, because you look like you're playing with me or acting stupid or something. You ain't taking my wife to no class reunion. You understand what I'm you saying? Your wife don't want to go to the reunion with me. How you know that? She ain't going nowhere with you. I done told you, man, don't get me acting crazy up in here. I done told you. Now, I said first, I won't come to the class reunion, but I will come to that <laughs> Just to make sure I knock the <laughs> lights out. Don't be yeah. acting stupid like I can't find. They got all kind of <laughs> they ain't found on some of them, but I'll find them. This is innocent, man. Me and her so, going to the reunion is innocent. And she ought to be able to decide if she want to go with me or not. Ain't nothing innocent about you. Your <laughs> sound trite anyway. Call somebody a <laughs> phone. Talk about a class reunion. I ain't even much heard about. Hey, I, don't give, I tell you what. You know what? I'm, 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 I'm going to get our phone call ship. Okay? Respect I'm, the I'm, ring. You understand what I'm saying to you? I didn't phone the you she mad, but I don't understand what you can't understand what? about that. Respect the <laughs> ring. Hey, man, I got one more thing I need to say to you, man. You ain't got <laughs> to say to me, man. You ain't got a <laughs> thing to say to me except to hit this <laughs> click in your ear, right? No, I got one more damn thing to say to you, and then I'm going to get off the phone. I'm going to be through with it, man. What the <laughs> you got to say to me? I say what? What the <laughs> you got to say to me before I hang up this I phone? got this to say to you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife, Sylvia, got me to prank phone call you. Bush. Wow. <laughs> I'm serious, man. I'm serious. Oh, man, I'm over here sweating and everything, man. Just mad. No, oh, this is a joke, dog. You all right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be all right in about an hour or two. <laughs> Joseph, how can I help you? Uh, yeah, Joseph, how you doing, man? I got your, um, boom, the, your number. Uh, uh, well, somebody gave me your card, told me you have an insurance company. You might be able to help me. Oh, absolutely. I'm love to help you. I'm love to help you. Okay. Listen, I'm, um, 
I'm, I'm seeking some insurance. Now, what all insurance do you guys have? What, what, what all do you all cover? Well, we have automobile insurance. We have home insurance. Uh, we have life insurance. Uh, fire, flood. Uh, we pretty much uh, we have everything. Really, exactly what type of insurance you were looking for. Okay, well, see, I need, uh, I have my own business, my own company. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I like that. Okay, what, I, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I'm trying to do, man, is I'm trying to make sure I have insurance for the people underneath me. Oh, okay, you're an employee. Yeah, yeah exactly, okay. exactly. Okay. I, want to, I want my employees to be insured. Okay. okay. You know, like if something okay. happens to them, they can get they can get workman's comp. You know what I mean? I, I want to be able to to accommodate them that way. Is that and, uh, are you able to help me out with something like that? Yeah, you know, uh, I am able to help you. I uh, just need to ask you a few questions. Uh, how many how many employees do you have? Right now, I have I got six. Well, I got four that's working full time. Mm -hmm. I got two that that work uh, predominantly on the weekends. Okay, okay, so I got, right. let me think real quick, let me, I got, I got Cinnamon, I got Ice, Jasmine, I got Thunder. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, um, sir, uh, tell me your name again, sir? What was, uh, Smitty. Smitty. Okay, okay. Um, um, what type of business do you have, sir? Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a, um, I'm a, I'm a PC, and, um. I'm, I'm sorry, PC, oh. Personal consultant? No, 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 no. I'm, a, I'm, I'm pretty close, though. Pretty close. That's, a, that's, that's pretty close. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pleasure consultant. And, and what it is, me, I got, um, you know, I got. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Did you say uh, pleasure consultant? Right, right. <laughs> what, what that is, man, is, is, you know, I, I, I pleasurize uh, people that want to be pleasurized. Like I have uh, girls that may dance for you. Uh, some may come by and, and uh, do other things for you. You know, after parties, private parties, that are, kind of thing. Are you trying you know? to are, are you trying to insure strippers or, or call girls? Well, I mean, I mean, I'm trying to insure what I'm trying to insure. I mean, I give all my girls 10.99 at but the end of the year. I, I, I'm I'm sorry, I, don't, I don't know what this is an insurance company. This is a reputable company. Uh, we don't insure call girls or strippers. So I'm trying to insure my product. I mean, the way the economy is right now, everybody got to look out for themselves. I got to insure what I need to insure so in case things go bad, man, I can bounce back on that. You understand? I, I understand that, sir, and I, I do understand I mean, I'm a businessman just like you are. Sir, but we don't insure uh, call girls, strippers. So, so hold on. I got your card, man. You're trying to tell me that now you can't give me no insurance? We can't insure call girls or strippers. Uh, okay, 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 tell me, what type of duties do they perform? Well, I mean, what you mean, what kind of duty? I mean, they, they well, have, I have to, on the application, I have to put down what type of duties do your... We're going to put down, we're going to put down, uh, 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 exotic dance, you know, uh, and see, since they are, are there for people that, like, uh, need to have some personal attention, man, you know, we just put something else down, like, you know, uh, counseling, you know? Who's possible? You want to ensure... <laughs> I'm not saying that, man. I'm not stop, stop saying that. Don't say that no more. Oh that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying well, that's, you know, what that's what they are. Well, why don't you put down PC, man? Why don't you why don't you put down pleasure consultant for me? Pleasure consultant, sir. Uh, we don't do that here. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I, I don't know how to help you, sir. We don't do that here. That, I mean, you can't insure a prostitute. Did I tell you don't say that no more? I told you, this right here is a PC. It's a pleasure consultant. Now, somebody that gave me this business card and told me that you'll be able to take care of me, and now here you is coming back saying you can't. See, this uh, one is starting to be some for Smitty now. Uh, 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 sir, you, you have to refrain from using that language. No, 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 no. They're they telling me that you are able to insure me, man. So yes, you sir. We are able to insure you. You're the one coming back with some bogus Right here, Listen, we don't insure any type of ghetto mess prostitutes, uh, call girls. Um, that's some street junk that we don't do here. Hey, man, listen, I was told you could insure me, and guess what? You go insure me. I'm going to go back and forth with you, Doc. I'm going to come down there to your office. I, I, wanna, I want these papers filled out so I can sign them. So I'm I can have my Look, man, we don't insure no prostitutes or no, or no strippers, okay? So we don't do that. And, and, and you're not going to come down to my office with this ghetto mess. We don't do that. Who do you think you're out of that, man? You you don't know who you're fooling with. Now, don't let this corporate over the phone corporate voice fool you because I can get gangster. Hey, man, I don't know who you think you are. Now, look at now, here. Now, we don't do that here. Hey, man, look at Let me tell you something. I'm on my way down there, okay? Sir, do not come to this office. 
If you never right. come to this office, I'm coming to the office. You're going to insure my girls for me. Now, somebody gave me my, your card and told me you can take care of me on the low, and that's what you're going to do. Now, I need my damn insurance for my girls, dog. That's all I'm trying to get out you. Don't you bring your up to my schedule because what I'm doing, and I will not. And if you bring your up, then you're going to get your what? Wait a minute, I got what? Who are you, you talking to? I'm talking to you. Now, I try to be nice, and I try to be professional, but this is your Don't you bring your to my office, or I'm going to kick your you in the tunnel and find all of them up there. Hey, man, I got one more thing I need to say to you. You listening? Yes. What you got to say to me? Don't what the I do not insure prostitutes, okay? What do you have to tell me? I got to tell you this. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy. You told Hoppo to beat me. We've heard of witness protection programs. It was a new oh, oh joy. But have you ever heard and the mule just goodness. went crazy. of HPP? Hit me right there. Bust my eye, bust my lips. Husband protection program. And that's a hook print. Is it a hook print that folks? It doesn't really exist. But if it would, it'd go a little something like this. No, that looks like a fish print. No, no, sir. No, sir. They don't fish touch my face. No, sir. <laughs> Good afternoon. This is Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Um, my name is Josh Lunez. I'm with uh, HPP. Giving you a call. You are married to uh, Mr. Sean Phillips, am I correct? Yes. You're, you're with who now? I'm with HPP. We actually uh, had to uh, pick your husband up from his job today, okay. and uh, wanted to give you a call. Are you... Pick him up. Pick him up for what? Pick him up for what? Okay. You you are Morgan. You're his wife, Morgan, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, actually, just wanted to make sure that he's okay, and we're, we're worried Why about his well-being. Why would he not be okay? What happened? Uh, well, nothing's happened as of, as of right now. We we've had a conversation with him and we we we've checked him out. He's definitely okay. Okay, but why why are you picking him up though? I don't I don't understand why. I don't under, I, I don't understand, I don't understand. All right, just 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 calm, calm down. Hang on a second. Let me let me. I got a couple questions for you. Your husband. He is about what five about five nine, correct? Yes. Right, and you you would agree that uh, Sean weighs uh, about one hundred and seventy five pounds. Does that sound about right? That he weighs uh, yes. Okay. Um, what? 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 Here's another question. Now, exactly, Miss uh, Morgan, how how tall are you? I'm 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 five nine as well. Okay. And uh, if you don't mind, I know it's a little different type of question, but if you don't mind, how much do you weigh? I'm like two hundred. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What is what is what is how much I weigh have to do with it? it, it it's, it's, I don't. What what is wrong with him? And where is why? Where is he right now? We we actually have him. We have him in our custody you right now. You have him where? We have him in our custody right now, here Why? at our headquarters at HPP. So Your headquarters? What, head, what is a, what is a HPP? Ma'am, HPP is Husband Protection Program. Husband Protection? I've never, I have never heard of such a thing. Why, why is he there? Well, what we, what the, the problem we have, and we've been getting some actual complaints and whatnot, and not necessarily from him, but that you've been, you, you, you know, you've been bullying your husband. Okay, you know what? Yeah. I'm at my job, <laughs> and I'm going to need you to hold on one second so I can go in here. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> what, what, what did you say? Have you and uh, Sean had any arguments at all lately? Have we had? We're married. Have we had arguments? Of course you had arguments. What, what, what does that have to do with anything? Have you guys had any, have you had any altercations? Any altercations? Yes. What kind of altercations? Have you been bullying your husband in a physical way? Have I been bullying him? <laughs> have, bullying have him been, how? Have you been, have you what been the bullying are you talking him? About bullying him? For somebody to turn in and give us... Somebody who? 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 Because if you need to let me talk to him. I, I can't oh put him on... This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. What, and this what, is what you're talking about? Do, you call me at my job, turn off the freaking HPP crap, and somebody turn somebody in for some arguing. We're married. Who do you freaking know who's married and does not argue? I understand you're mad, but it is my job to protect husbands that are getting bullied by their wife. This is not the example. You're protecting for me? He is my husband. What the? <laughs> okay, let me speak to him. I'm not. I, I'm not at liberty to let you speak to him right now. To you, what you're not going to do is bully me as well. And I, oh I see. Everybody's trying to bully you. I want to know what the frick is going on and why you call me at my job with some crap about him being at some headquarters on HPP. I don't even know what the HPP is. Never heard of HPP. And my husband is not even protected from anybody. Fucking not me. It is husband yeah. protection going, program. Yeah. You've been bullying your husband. You've been using bad language with your husband. <laughs> 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 
My name Craig, man. Somebody stole my mama Lincoln, and they say you was one of the ones that probably had did it. So oh, I'm oh, man, hold, hold, hold the fuck up, dog. Who is who? Is, who, is, who, is, who, is, who is we, yo? I don't know nothing about no motherfucking Lincoln Mills, though. Man, let me tell you something, man. Call to my house with this here uh, bullshit about Lincoln, man. Look, man, I'm on paper, man. I don't do no, I don't do no shit like that. Still Lincoln and shit, man. You know what I'm saying, man? I don't, I don't get out like that, man. I don't know who told you that, man, or how you got my number, man. But I ain't stole your mama Lincoln, man. Okay, hold up then. Then, then, then you don't mind coming downtown. Because what happened was the lady next door saw who took it. And the dude, they, she say the dude jumped the fence and tore his pants. And the back pocket got towed off and she saw the dude butt. So what we want you to do is come down and get in the lineup. And everybody going to show that the lady say she know that butt when she see it. Oh, man. oh hell no. Man, you must be out your goddamn mind think I'm going to come downtown in the first goddamn place, and I'm not going to come downtown to show my ass. But what I will do for you, I'll show my ass on this motherfucking phone. Now, if you think your motherfucking mama Lincoln is at my house, you can come get that motherfucker, because I done been down before. Say, man, is your butt the one that she saw come over that fence, man? That's all I want to know. Man, man, who is you, man? Who the fuck is you, man? Call in my house, man, and, 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 and accusing me of leaving my ass print on your mama's gate, man, and stealing your mama's car. Man, who the hell is you, man? Are you crazy or something, man? Listen, man, I'm not trying to go back and forth with you, dog. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of who stole my mama's car, dog. That's really what I'm trying to do. You understand? Man, cuz, what are you talking about, man? I ain't stole no goddamn Lincoln, man. Hey, I ain't showing my ass that going You on. ain't got no problem showing your butt to this lady, man, because the lady says she know this butt when she said, did you, cr did you crawl over the fence and tear your pants and the lady saw your butt? She know it when she see it. Man, look, man, y'all tripping, man. You want to identify me by looking at my damn ass? That's what she saw, man. She saw the ass. Well, it wasn't my ass, man. What, what? Oh, no, you got my name. No, no, no. You Marcus, ain't you? Yeah, I'm Marcus. Okay, yeah, I'm Marcus. And, and, and don't quit acting like you ain't never been in no trouble before, man. They already Damn. say you be getting in and out of trouble. So what I want to know is, is you the one stole my mama Lincoln, man? I done paid for what I done, man. You did? Well, I ain't told your mama Lincoln, man. Hey, man, let me tell you this right here. I done been locked up, man. But I'm telling you what, I go again if you come down here trying to take my ass downtown and to show my ass to them white folks. I'm not going to have it, man. Just because your mama car got stolen. I ain't had nothing to do with that, man. Say, man, look, either you going to come downtown uh, willingly or I'm going to come to your house and drag you out, man, and bring you down there so this lady can see your butt, man. Like I say, you <laughs> she know the butt when she see it. Now, if it ain't your butt, you ain't got nothing to worry about. But you're going to have to come downtown and show us your ass. Man, man, who, who in the hell is you, man? You ain't no lawman, you ain't no detective, you ain't no fireman, man. Who in the hell is you, man? You I'm, the one trying to figure out, I'm, I'm the person trying to figure out who stole my mama Lincoln, man. That's what I'm doing. Man, I, I tell you what, you can come over here to my house, man, and I'll show you my ass, man, because this is a motherfucking bullshit, man. I ain't had nothing to do with this motherfucking bullshit, man. Are you talking about bringing the law to my house and, man, I'll take my ass? Man, what kind of what kind of gay rights shit this is, man? I, 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 man, I'm telling you, I don't have nothing to do with your mama car being stolen, man, but I ain't coming downtown to show my ass, man. That's out the motherfucking question. I ain't got no problem coming to get it. Now, that one thing well, I ain't got no problem doing. Man, well, come on and get my... Come on, get my ass in. Hey, man. Come on and get my... Hey, man, I'm going to say it one more time. We coming to your house, dragging you out, and taking you downtown if you don't want to go by yourself. But man, I ain't got no problem with that, man, because I done been down, man. Five years, six months, I done been down, man. I done paid for my crime, man. I done paid for my crime. But ain't nobody finna come get me from my house talking about taking me downtown and showing my ass. If you want my ass, you come to my house, and I'm going to give you my whole entire ass, man. You hear me? Because I ain't afraid to go back down, man. I ain't afraid to go back down. And I will go back down if you come over my house fucking with me about getting my ass cracked. Hey, man, I'm just saying we need, the lady just need to see it, man, to see if it's the right one or not the right one. That's all you got to do is pull it down just a little bit so she can see it. Man, I, man, I, man, I'm not going to do that, man. I don't even know who the hell you are, man. How did you even get my information, man? 
I didn't get my number, man. You need to get out my phone with this hill, man. This is bullshit, man. Hey, man, you know what, man? I'm not finna go back and forth with you no more. You're gonna have to bring your butt down here to the station, or I'm coming down there and drag you out your house and take. I'm through talking about this now. You hear me? Well, look, man. Look, man. Come on and get me, man. You want my ass, man? Come on and get me, man. Cause I ain't scared to go back to the penitentiary for putting something on your ass for trying to come and identify my ass. You did? Hey, man, I don't listen. Know who you I, is, tell, bro. I tell you what, man. I got one more thing I need to say to you. Did you listen to me? I'm listening, man. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy LJ. Oh wait. Oh hell no, man. Hello, man, y'all. <laughs> Man, look, man, y'all had me thinking, man, I'm finna go back to this penitentiary, man. Oh, no, and then no. you talking about my ass, man. I didn't show no ass in the penitentiary, and I ain't gonna show none now, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, All right, Marcus, look here, man. I got one more thing I need to ask you, brother. What is, what is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> they bad, man. You see, they just got me, man. Wow. Okay, y'all. So, um, yes. Yeah, so that was it. I really hope y'all enjoy this one. This was a, this was um uh, was a pretty long one. So I really hope y'all enjoy this video fully to the max. Um, uh, I laugh, so I already know y'all gonna enjoy this one. But other than that, y'all, I wanna say thank y'all so much for the love and support, and I do appreciate y'all being very patient with me when it comes to um editing uh, the videos and stuff like that. But um, yeah, y'all. So other than that, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any videos like this. But other than that, y'all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see y'all next time. Okay. Bye.